Good morning, yogis. I am going to bring you another energizing morning flow this morning, uh, which is going to be kind of intense and building on itself are a couple different flows. So I hope you're ready to get your sweat on and get ready for your day. You might want to block. We're actually going to start with some work on our back for to kind of warm our core up, as well as um, if you have two blocks, that's even better because we might do some jumping later on. So if you need to put your uh, video on pause and go grab those, go ahead and do that and then come on back and we'll meet back down in sitting at the front of our mat. And just find a nice comfortable seated position. Sitting up nice and tall on your sitting bones. Rest your elbow, your hands on your on your knees and feel your spine grow, grow tall. Tuck your chin a little and then start to become aware of your breath. And start to lengthen your inhales and then lengthen your exhales. Take as long as you possibly can for both of those things and really feel the control. gentle side bend bringing your right ear to your right shoulder just for your neck a little bit but just stay just stay gentle a little bit get those kinks out and then bring it back to center and bring the left ear to your left shoulder keep those shoulder blades going down your back and then bring it back into center. Gently tuck your chin all the way down to your chest. And then bring it back to center. Cup your knees with your hands and gently pull your chest through, almost like you're doing a cat-cow, and raise your head up towards the sky without crunching your neck. Just a little extension through the whole back. And bring it back to center. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead, palms meet overhead, and pull down into front of heart center. Take this moment to prepare your mind and your body for your practice today. If setting an intention is something you like to do, go ahead and do that now. If you just need that little like pep talk or a reminder to come back to your breath when things get tough, set that reminder for yourself at this point. And then float your eyes open. Drop your hands down by your side. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up overhead one more time. And then twist over to the right, left hand to the top of your right knee, right hand right behind your sacrum. Just a gentle start to our practice. With every inhale, feel yourself grow taller. And every exhale, go a little deeper into a twist, looking over that right shoulder. And then inhale, arms back up through center, and exhale, right hand to left knee, left knee right behind you, and twist over to the left. And then one more time, come up through center, palms meet overhead, and then let's bow forward, reaching those fingertips out in front of you. Drop your head. You can maybe sway a little bit if that 
that feels good. And then slowly walk your hands back towards yourself. And then you're going to grab your block if you've got one. If you don't have a block, a ball works really well. You know, I don't know if you have kids and they have a little bouncy ball. Um, that will work, but you're going to roll all the way down to your back. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put the block right between our thighs on the on the small side, okay? And then the legs are going to lift straight up over the head. Hands are going to come behind your head, but not to be not to pull. And you're basically going to squeeze the block with your um, with your thighs, <laughs> and then. Gently bring your shoulder blades up off the floor. Squeeze the block again once you're up and then lower your shoulder blades down. Little crunches. Squeeze the block, lift those shoulder blades, then give the block, the block one more big squeeze and exhale it back down. Squeeze, lift, squeeze, lower. Squeeze, lift, Squeeze again, and lower. Squeeze, lift up, squeeze, and lower. Squeeze, lift up, and squeeze, and lower. Now what you're gonna do, move the block up to between your feet, okay? So you're flexed. Now you have a longer lever arm, it's a little harder. Um, we're going to lift your shoulders up off the off the floor. Elbows stay wide so that you're not like pulling your head into flexion. You're going to squeeze the block again. This time you're going to lower your feet, keeping your shoulder blades up off the, off the floor and then raise it back up. Squeeze that block with those heels. Lower and bring it back up. Squeeze that block with your feet, lower the block, and then lift it back up. Squeeze, lower, bring it back up. Let's do three more. Squeeze, lower. See if you can get any lower after you're kind of getting used to it. Last one. And then bend your knees. Grab your block, put it to the side. And then maybe just stretch your arms then like that wide, not wide, long. <laughs> stretch your arms overhead, feet out in front. Give yourself a nice little stretch after waking up those abdominals. And then we're just gonna roll up like a ball over our hands, over our knees, we're onto hands and knees for a little bit of cat-cow. So on your inhale, you want to drop the belly, lift the tail, lift your head, and then inhale. And then as you exhale, round your spine, push your shoulder blades away, and belly button pulling up towards your spine. Move through the cat-cow on your own breath, inhaling as you're arching, and exhaling as you're rounding. your next exhale you're going to go ahead and push your hips up and back to downward facing dog you'll find your down dog first down dog of the day pedal out your feet do whatever movements you feel like you need to do to get the kinks out And 
even once you're done with that, find some stillness and some strength in your downward facing dog. Down dog is a resting pose, but you want to make sure you're staying engaged, especially in your abdominals. You're pulling those lower floating ribs down and in. You're, ro you're externally rotating in the shoulders and you're pressing that tailbone up high and heels down towards the floor. Slowly walk your feet up towards your hands. Inhale to a flat back and exhale, forward fold. Keep your knees bent here. It's our first forward fold of the day. Go ahead and grab opposite elbows. And again, be heavy in that forward fold. Sway side to side. Check and make sure you're not clenching your neck. You can freely nod and shake your head. And then come to center, find some stillness here. Maybe straighten your legs out a little bit more, but again, they do not have to be straight here. And then drop your hands down to the floor. Step one leg back to, back to plank, and then the left foot back to meet it. Lower all the way down to the floor. Untuck your toes, inhale for baby cobra. Exhale, all the way down to your belly. Inhale, baby cobra. Squeeze those elbows into your spine. Exhale, back down. One more time, roll the shoulder blades back. Inhale, baby cobra. Lower down just a little bit and then lift your, your hands up off the floor. Press the tops of your feet into the floor. And then lower all the way down. Push back up onto your hands and knees. Walk your hands forward, keep your hips high. Bow down, puppy pose. Pressing your chest, chin, forehead down towards the floor, giving those shoulders a little bit of opening. Make sure you're still engaging your abdominals here so you're not um, clenching in that low back. And then go ahead and walk your hands back. One hand length, tuck your toes, send your hips high, down facing dog. Inhale, sweep the right leg up towards the sky. Keeping your hips square here. Exhale, pull that knee into your chest. Hover for just a moment, round your back. And then set the foot down between your palms. Lower your back knee. Come up, low lunge. We'll keep your toes tucked here. Arms as close to your biceps, as close to your ears as you can, but not at the expense of shrugging your shoulders up towards your ears. Tuck your tailbone just a little bit, feeling that deep hip flexor stretch. And then exhale the hands down to the mat. Untuck your toes. Shift your hips back, flex your right foot for half split. Inhale to a flat back first, and then exhale, drop it over the leg. And then re-bend that right leg, walk your hands forward, tuck your back toes. Send that right foot back to meet your left. Lower down, Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog or cobra if you need another round of cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, that left leg up towards the sky. Keep your hips super square, big pinky toe rolling down towards the floor. And then exhale, pull that knee into your chest, round your back. And set the foot down between your palms, lowering that right knee, toes stay tucked, low lunge. Keep pulling that right hip forward, left hip back by squeezing the inner thighs. 
Keep your low belly engaged. Shoulder blades relaxed. Exhale, the hands down to the mat. Untuck your toes and then shift your hips back. Flex your left foot. Inhale to a flat back and then fold it over for half split. Stretching into that hamstring. Just keep your spine long here. And then re-bend that left knee. Step, uh, lift your left, right knee up, step your left foot back to meet it in plank. Lower down chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. I'm gonna go ahead and shift forward to plank here. Drop your knees down and come into a um, quadruped position. You're going to engage those abdominals, shoot your left foot back with your toes on the ground so your left leg is straight. <laughs> what did I say? Oh, okay. I didn't remember what I, what I had planned here. All right, so you're planting that left leg and with intention and control, suck that right leg into your nose, put your knee to your nose. And then just extend it back, push back downward facing dog. And then pull it back to your um, to your right elbow, right? Oh no, okay, sorry guys. Okay, let's start over. So we're gonna be in quadruped. Push that left foot back so that, that left foot's planted. Take an inhale and then exhale, lift the knee, touch it to your nose. Exhale back, three-legged dog, right leg raises. Pull it back through, set the right knee down, lift the left leg up, reach the right arm out for a bird dog. Set the right hand down, left toes down. Inhale, exhale, pull that knee into your nose. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg raises. Exhale, pull it through. Lower down that right knee, left knee, left leg lifts, right arm lifts, bird dog. Set the hand and the foot down, left leg's gonna stay long again. Inhale, exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, pull it back through. Set that right knee down, extend the left leg and the right arm, bird dog. Set the left foot and the right hand down. Inhale, exhale, pull that knee into your nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, pull it back through. Set the right knee down. Inhale it, bird dog pose. Right hand down, left foot. One more time, pull that knee up, touch your nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, pull it back. Set the knee down, bird dog, lift. Try and lift your left leg and your right arm at the same time. And then set, the, set everything down into quadruped. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So step the right foot back, toes up, toes up, I don't know what that means. On the ball of your foot, like you're gonna be in a plank. Take an inhale here. Exhale, suck that left knee up and touch your nose. Inhale, sweep it back, three-legged dog, left leg rises. Exhale, pull it back in, lower it down. Inhale, right leg up, left leg reaches. Right foot down, left hand down, inhale. Exhale, push the floor away, pull that left knee in. Inhale, up three-legged dog, left leg rises. Exhale, knee comes back down. Inhale, right leg up, left leg reaches, left arm reaches, excuse me. Set everything down. Inhale, exhale, push the floor away, knee to nose. Inhale, downward, downward dog, 
left leg lifted. Exhale, pull that knee back, set it down. Inhale, stretch it out. Set the foot and the hand back down. Take an inhale and then exhale, push the foot away, knee to nose. Inhale, three legged dog, right, left leg right, rises. Pull that knee back and set the knee down. Inhale, right arm, right leg reaches, left arm reaches. One more time, set the hand and the foot down. Inhale, exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, set the knee down. Reach that right leg, left arm. Reach, 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 reach. And then set everything down. Sit back in a child pose for just a moment. Just a quick moment and then roll it back up. Tuck your toes, send your hips high for downward facing dog. We're gonna go through three sun salutation A's just to kind of warm our shoulders up. So when you're ready, come up high on your tippy toes, look between your palms, bend your knees, exhale, hop to the front of your mat. Inhale to a flat back, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep the arms out and up overhead, palms of knee, and, <laughs> and then fold down into the front of your heart. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, swan dive over the legs, fold forward. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant the palms, step or jump, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Ready to go again, come hop behind on your tippy toes, inhale, exhale, bend the knees, jump, <clears throat> float to the front of your mat, inhale, flat back, exhale, forward fold, inhale, root to rise all the way up, arms sweep up and meet in front of the heart, inhale, sweep the arms up one more time, and swan dive over the legs, hinge at the waist, forward fold, inhale, flat back, down to your fingertips. Plant your hands, jump or step through your vinyasa. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. One more time, come up on your tippy toes, look between your palms, bend your knees. Exhale, jump or float to the front of your mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, bring hands down in front of the heart. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, swan dive over the legs, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant the palms. Jump or step through your chaturanga and finish your vinyasa. Hold and then down dog again. Find your engagement here. We're going to get going with our next sequence, and this is going to be where we kind of build and build and build. So it should be fun. <laughs> Inhale, sweep your right, right leg up towards the sky. Exhale, bring your knee to your right elbow. Inhale, sweep it up. Three legged dog. Exhale, right knee to left elbow. Inhale, sweep it up, three-legged dog. Exhale, pull that knee into your chest. Set the foot between your palms and bring it up, crescent lunge. In crescent lunge, use the inner thighs to pull together. Bend that right knee a lot. Strong back leg, but if you need to kind of bend it, a little bit to square those hips off, that's okay. And then really stretch it out, getting that deep hip flexor stretch on the left leg. Pull that right hip back in space. You're gonna float your arms back and lean forward. 
just a little bit. Then you're going to shift your weight up onto that right leg for airplane pose. Pull your shoulder blades, shoulder heads away from the floor. Try and roll that left pinky toe down towards the floor. Hands can stay down by your hips here. And then re-bend that right knee. Set the left foot down. Sweep the arms up one more time for crescent lunge. And then slowly place the left hand down inside your right foot and open it up for an easy twist. Drop that right hip down. Make sure you're not, it's not jutting out to the side. Push through your right, your left shoulder, keeping your collarbones wide. You're not sinking into the shoulder. And then lower that left, right hand down. Step it back to plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Get that left leg up towards the sky. Exhale, left knee to left elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee to right elbow. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to chest. Set the foot between your palm and bring it up. Cross that lunge. Arms overhead. Squaring off those hips. Bending deeply in that left knee. Engaging your abdominals. Inner thighs. Hugging together. Float your arms back by your hips, lean it forward, and then step up, airplane pose. Pulling those shoulder heads away from the floor, away from your ears. Abdominals are engaged. You might fall, that's okay. Just get back into it, roll that pinky toe down towards the floor for your right foot. And then bend that left knee, set the right foot down. Inhale the arms back up. And then reach that right hand down inside the left and twist it open to the left. Making sure your left hip is not jutting out to the side. Right hand or right knee is still strong in this pose. You're not in a lazy lunge, you're active. Everything is. Collarbones are wide. And then lower the left hand down. Step it back to plank. Lower chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg up towards the sky. We're going to build on that. Exhale, right knee to right elbow. Split up on your tricep if you can. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, right knee, left elbow or tricep. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, pull it into your chest. Set the right foot down and bring it up. Crescent lunge. Float your arms back, lean it forward and step up airplane pose. Rebend that right leg, set the left foot down. Inhale the arms up. This time you're bringing your hands to prayer. You're gonna lean forward a little bit as to lengthen your spine, and then start to twist to the right, bringing your left elbow to the outside of your right knee. And then open it up for a crescent prayer twist. Trying to press your hands towards the center of your sternum. And then think of your, the crown of your head going super long, shooting up towards like the upper corner of your room. Bring it back up, crescent lunge one time. And then hands come down to the mat. Step that right foot back, lower chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. 
Exhale, down facing dog. Keep that left foot up towards the sky. Inhale here. Exhale, left knee, left tricep. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, left knee to right tricep. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, pull it through. Step the foot between the palms. Inhale. Present lunge. Exhale, sweep the arms back. Shift it up. Airplane pose for just a breath here. And then re-bend that left knee. Set the right foot down. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Pull down to prayer. And then lengthen your spine lean forward before you start to twist. Set that right elbow on the outside of the left knee and twist it open to the left. Back leg is strong here, spine is long. Try and press those hands to the middle of your chest as best as you can. And then inhale it back up, present lunge for a breath. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Step the left foot back. Lower chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. All right, now we're gonna build even a little bit more. Take a couple breaths here. Re-engage everything. Inhale, sweep that right leg up towards the sky. Exhale, just, just pull it straight through. Step it between your palms. Inhale, present lunge. Exhale, float your hands back. Shift up, airplane pose. Bend that right knee, set the foot down. Inhale, arms overhead. Pull it down to prayer pose. Inhale, as you twist to that right, Press the palms to your middle of your chest. And then here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna step the left foot up to meet the right. Your feet can be hip width distance apart or toe, big toes touch, but you're in a twisted prayer. Twisted chair, <laughs> prayer, prayer chair. Twist around, do the thing. <laughs> and then shift your weight right back into your right foot. Step your left foot back. Inhale, press the lunge, arms overhead. Exhale, hands come down. Move through your vinyasa. Inhale, sweep the left foot up. Exhale, let's just bring it straight through. Set the foot down. Inhale, press the lunge. Exhale, float the arms back. Step up, airplane pose. Exhale, step that left foot, or right foot down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands come through prayer. Lengthen that spine, twist over to the left. Shift your weight into that left foot. Step the right foot up to meet it. Chair, twisted chair pose. Shift that left foot. Weight, step the right foot back. Inhale, arms up, crescent lunge. Exhale, hands down to the mat. Move through your vinyasa. Enjoy it, slow it down. Okay, we're gonna do one more time through, and this time we're gonna go into a side crow. So, just follow along. If you choose to stay in any pose for a longer time and don't want to do the arm balance, that is completely up to you. So, swoop that left, excuse me, right leg up towards the sky, pull that knee into your chest, set the foot between your palms, inhale, press that lunge arms up. Exhale, float the arms back. Step up, airplane pose. 
inhale. Exhale, breathe in that right leg. Arms come up. Pull the hands down through heart center. Twist to the right, left hand, left elbow hooks. Lengthen your spine, inhale. Exhale, step that left foot up. Take one inhale here. And then exhale, open your arms up. So left fingertips down, right fingertips up towards the sky. And then from here, you can kind of turn, come up onto your toes. Set your feet down, stay in your twist. Set your feet down, set your hands down. About shoulder width distance apart. You can be on or off your mat, doesn't matter. Send your hips high first. Keep your elbows squeezing in towards each other. Shift your weight forward over your, your legs and just feel your feet float up off of the mat. Elbows squeezing in, abdominals squeezing in. And then set your feet down. Come back through chair pose. And then let's do actually come up through chair this way. Fold over those legs. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, plant the palms. Let's jump back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Oh, that feels so good, it's all that flexing. <laughs> Exhale, down facing dog. Inhale, take the left leg up. Last one on the sequence, pull that left knee into your chest. Set the foot between your palms. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, float the arms back, step up. Airplane pose. Inhale. Exhale, step that foot back. Arms come up, crescent lunge. Pull the hands down in prayer. Open it up, twisting to the, to the left. Step that right foot up to meet the left. Chair pose. Open those arms up, right fingertips down towards the floor, left one hand reaching up towards the sky. And then come on down, let your heels come up, setting up for your side curl on the left side. Hands are wide apart, hips come high, higher than you think. Then shift your weight straight forward, even between your palms. Keeping that gaze forward, neck is long. And then set your feet down. Come back to your twisted chair. And then come back to arms up overhead, regular chair. And then fold it over the legs. Forward fold. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, plant the palms. Jump, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down facing dog. If you'd like to take an extra sun A here, I think I'm going to, just for that <laughs> extra stretch. Or you can just stay here in down dog or take some time in child pose. But I think a sun A would feel really good right there. So inhale up on your tippy toes, look between your palms, jump or float to the front of your mat. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up, hands overhead. Exhale, hands meet in heart center. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, swan dive over the legs, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, plant your palms. Jump, back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale. Downward facing dog. Oh yeah, okay. All right. This next flow, we'll get into our warrior one and two. Inhale, sweep your right leg up. Pull that knee in to your chest, set the foot between your palms. Spin that left heel down. Open it up, not open it up. Bring it up, warrior one. So you're still facing the front of your mat. Exhale, 
open it up warrior two if you need to change your heel to arch alignment you can do that if you like to keep heel to heel that's fine too in warrior two your right sitting bone is pointing pulling straight back towards the arch of your left foot shoulder blades are down your back collarbones wide low belly pulling in right knee pulling out over the pinky toe we're going to move it back keeping your legs like that to a um, warrior one and you're going to bring your right arm underneath your left for eagle wrap in warrior one you're going to take an inhale here for peaceful warrior lifting those elbows up feeling that stretch between the shoulder blades and then bow forward keeping those eagle arms for humble warrior inside so kind of diving inside that right thigh again keeping those eagle arms and then bring it back up warrior one for a moment inhale arms up exhale hands down to the mat float that right foot back lower down chaturanga inhale up dog exhale down facing dog inhale left leg up towards the sky exhale pull that knee into your chest that foot between your palms right heel spins down warrior one Open it up, warrior two, arms out. Check your alignment. Make sure you're as flat as you could be between a plane of glass. Looking out over that left middle finger. Turn it back to warrior one. Sweep that left arm now underneath your, your right eagle wrap. Keep that bend in that left knee. Inhale, peaceful warrior, pulling those shoulder blades up and away, and then bow it for humble warrior. <coughs> Excuse me. Try not to sit on your thigh or like rest your chest on your thigh. Try and use your strength. Pull that left hip back in space. And then inhale up, warrior one, arms up overhead. Exhale down to the mat, step it back, move through your vinyasa. Inhale up dog, exhale down facing dog. Inhale, sweep the right leg up, bring up the hold. Exhale, knee to nose, set the foot between your palms. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, warrior one. Right arm under left. Peaceful warrior with eagle arms. Exhale, humble warrior. Inhale, unwrap the arms, warrior one. Exhale again, warrior two. Now inhale, peaceful arms. Left hand down the left leg. Sweep that right arm overhead. And then bring it down, right hand in, inside of your right foot for side angle. Keep that right tricep pushing against your know, right inner part of your knee or thigh. We're giving each other equal pressure. One time, sweep that left arm up by your butt, your ear, and then slide your right. Left hand down, right hand comes out, frames the foot. Step it back, lower chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down facing dog. Inhale, left leg sweeps up. Exhale, knee to nose. Set that foot between your palms. Spin that right foot down. Inhale, warrior one. 
Exhale, warrior two. Bring it back to warrior one. Left arm under for eagle wrap. Inhale, peaceful warrior with eagle arms. Exhale, humble warrior. Inhale, back to warrior one. Untwist those arms. Exhale, warrior two. And then flip your palm. Inhale, peaceful warrior, right arm down the left, right leg. Left arm sweeps like overhead. And then bring it down into your extended side angle pose. Inhale, sweep your right arm up by your ear, and then set the right hand down. Left hand frames the foot, step it back to plank. Lower chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, sweep the right leg up. Exhale, knee to nose. Step it between your palms. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, back, warrior one. Right arm under left. Inhale, humble warrior eagle, peaceful warrior eagle arms. Exhale, humble warrior eagle arms. Inhale, back up, warrior one. Exhale, open it up again, warrior two. Inhale, peaceful. Right arm sweeps up overhead. Exhale, bring that right hand down inside. Extended side angle. If you want to take it a little further, let's reach that left arm behind your back, palm facing away from you, opening that chest, keeping that twist. And if you can, go ahead and take the bind where you've got your grabbing onto your right hand clasped together. Keep your spine long. Keep it opening up, feeling that really deep opening in that right hip. Go ahead and set that right hand down. Open it up, side angle. Sweep the arm overhead, left arm overhead. Turn towards the right, bring the foot. Let's sweep it back down, facing dog with your left, your right leg lifted. Shift forward to plank, three-legged plank. Lower down, chaturanga, both feet come down. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up towards the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Set the foot between your palms. Spin that right heel down. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, back to warrior one. Left arm under right. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Exhale, humble warrior, bow it forward. Inhale, back warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Left arm sweeps up and overhead. Exhale, side angle pose. Right, left hand down inside your left foot. Right hand up to the sky. Reach that right hand behind you, palm facing away. First, stay there, opening that chest, and then take that right left hand in underneath your left thigh and grab onto your hand if you can. Set the right left hand down, inhale that right hand up right bicep by your ear, then sweep it down. Frame that foot, sweep that left leg up, back, up and back, three-legged dog. Exhale, shift forward to plank, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Okay, we're gonna take it one more step further. Inhale, right leg up towards the sky. 
Exhale, knee to nose. Set the foot between your palms. Inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, back to warrior one. Right under left. Humble warrior. Exhale. Oh man, this is humble warrior. Bow it down deep. Inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, open it up, warrior two. Inhale, peaceful warrior, right arm sweeps up. Exhale, bring it back down, extended side angle. Take the bind. If you didn't get the bind last time, maybe you can get it this time because you're a little bit warmer, right? And then if you'd like to try to take Bird of Paradise, you're going to kind of step your left foot up to meet your right. You shift your weight into your right leg and slowly stand up, bringing that right leg with you, standing on the left. Pull your shoulder blades back. Keep those, that spine nice and long. If you can, straighten that right leg. Whew. But the point, the point is that your posture is better than your leg being straight. Find a focus point if you're in bird. Keep trying. And then when you're ready, bend that left knee. Set the right foot down. Set the left foot back. Right hand down. Inhale, sweep the left arm up overhead. Come to the floor, frame your foot with your right hand. Sweep the right leg back to three-legged dog. Exhale, child plank, lower chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down facing dog. All right. Last one of these on the left. Sweep the left leg up. Exhale, pull that knee into your chest, set the foot down. Spin that right heel down, inhale, warrior one. Exhale, warrior two. Back to warrior one, left arm under right. Inhale, peaceful warrior. Exhale, bow forward, humble warrior. <laughs> inhale, back warrior one, arms up overhead and twist them. Exhale, warrior two. Flip the left palm, inhale, peaceful warrior. Exhale, left hand down, right hand up. Go ahead and let's work towards that bind again. And if that's where you're working for, that's okay. Sometimes it just means you just need to do the half bind, which is just leaving, um, you know, trying to grab for the, the hip crease with your right hand. But if you're taking the bind, go ahead and take that now. Lengthen that spine. And then we're gonna hop that right foot up and stand it up. Standing now on the right leg, left leg is up, held in that bind. Standing up nice and tall. And then straighten that left leg if you can. Oh, my foot is scared me. This is always my better bird side. <laughs> Go ahead and come on out, bend that right knee. Set the left foot down, step the right foot back. Bring it back in the side angle. Sweep the right hand up overhead. Frame your foot with your hands. Shift that left foot back, three-legged dog. Exhale through plank, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down facing dog. All right. Uh, Inhale, sweep that right leg up. We're moving on here. One more thing. Pull that knee into your chest. Set the foot between your palms. Step that left foot up just a little closer, but keep your feet parallel. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Little pyramid pose. Take your left hand to your left hip. Reach your right arm 
long, you gotta come to a flat back and then stand all the way up. Right arm up overhead. You're going to reach your right hand down to the middle of your, of your neck. Then reach that left hand back behind your, you to meet your, if you can grab your fingers, great. For some reason today I cannot. I'm close, but now you're in that cow face arms. And one more time, keeping your arms this way, flat back, bow forward over that right leg. Keep that right knee uh, soft, don't lock it. And then come back up, unwind the arms, inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, over that right leg, bend that right knee just a little bit. Lift that left leg, standing split. Squaring those hips off. If your standing split is more like an L, that's okay. If you'd like to grab your ankle with your right hand, that's fine. Pull your chest towards your, towards your shin, not your thigh. Plant that right hand, keep that left leg lifted, and then we're just gonna do little hops, keeping that left leg lifted. So little hops, and each time your right leg will probably hop back. Keep that left leg lifted, keep hopping back, keep hopping back, until you find yourself in plank with that left leg lifted. Lower down, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg up towards the sky. Exhale, knee to nose. Set the foot between your palms. Um, step that right foot in. Inhale to a flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Pyramid pose. Bring your right hand to your right hip. Reach that left arm out long, soften that left leg, and then come up all the way to standing. All right, left arm up towards the sky. Left arm down to the middle of your back. Reach that right arm back and around. Try and grab your fingers. If you can't, you can just stay where you are. Hold that low belly and lower floating ribs in. And then bow forward, keeping your hands in cow face. Left knee soft. Inhale, back up. Arms on twist. Overhead. Bend that right knee, left knee. And pull it up, standing split on that left leg. Hold your left ankle with your left hand if you'd like. Shoulder blades away from your ears. Plant both your hands. Keep that right leg lifted. Push the floor away, little hops. Push the floor away, little hop. Your left leg is gonna kinda hop back, but keep trying to get those hips overhead each time until you end up in plank. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Go ahead and drop the knees. Toes together, knees wide. Sit back, try to pose. You're ready. Bring it back. Tuck your toes. Down facing dog. Hip high. Dog. Hips high. Walk your hands back. Third of the way. Inhale. Look between your palms. Bend your knees. Jump through. 
Just sitting. Bring your legs out long. Sitting up nice and tall. Feet flexed. Bow forward. Seated forward fold. Grab onto whatever feels good. If you can grab your toes, make sure then you're using your toes to pull your chest forward, like you're trying to get your chest to your shins. Keeping that spine long. And then go ahead and come on up. Bend those knees, feet flat on the mat. And slowly roll it down to your back. We are almost there, guys. We're gonna do one bridge and one full wheel. So find where you like to take your bridge. If you still have your block candy, let's take the bridge this, this time with the knees, with a block right between your knees. Feet are parallel. When you're ready, inhale, press the hips up high. Clasp those hands underneath you. Squeeze that block. Feel how that feels different in your sacrum. Ooh. It's harder. Squeeze that block. Pelvic floor is working hard here. And then lower it down. If you'd like to try keeping the block there for full wheel, be my guest. That will not work for me. I know my hips are not that flexible. And that's something I should work on, but not today. <laughs> so, when you're ready, lift those hips on an inhale. Reach those arms up overhead. Place your hands by your shoulders. If you'd just like to take a regular bridge, go ahead. If you're coming with me, push onto the top of your head first. Square off those elbows. Make sure they're pointing forward and then press your elbows as straight as you can get them. When you're ready to come out, lower down to the tops of your shoulders first, and then roll it down. Bring your feet out wide, and windshield wiper your legs a few times side to side. And then heel toe your feet back in. Hug your knees into your chest. Forehead to knee. And then unroll. Keep your right knee. Hug left leg out long. Grab the right knee with your left hand. And just an easy sweep line twist over to the left, looking out to your right hand. Bring it back into center. Bring your left up to meet your right. Then lengthen that right leg out. Hug that left knee in tight. And then open it up. Do a twist to the right. Looking out towards your left hand. Bring it back in the center. Pull that right knee in. Oh. Roll side to side. Give me a little ball here. Then let's do actually set your left foot down, cross your right ankle over your knee, and we're gonna just do like a figure four stretch a little bit. Using your right elbow, press the right knee away, lift that left foot, and pull it, pull your left thigh towards you. Right foot can flex a little bit to protect your knee. And then lower that left foot down, switch legs. Left ankle crossed over the right. Grab behind the right thigh, pressing that left knee away with your elbow and pull. Go 
ahead and release. Get any other wiggles out that you need. Find places where you might be feeling still tight and you just need to stretch. And then meet me in Shavasana. Lengthen out those legs, arms fall open, feet fall open. Eyes are closed. Feel heavy into your mat. And if you're starting your day with this, allow this to be the time that you're allowing yourself to do nothing. Stay in Shavasana as long as you would like, as long as you need. Give yourself permission. Thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste. Yeah. yeah.